Hello guys, it's Dylan from Guitar Boys, and we are going to talk about time travel. First, let's start off with the little line of the day. They say nobody's perfect. Well, that's perfect. It's the way it should be. If something is the way it should be, it's perfect. Exactly the way it should be. So, since everybody's, no one's perfect, that's perfect. So everybody's perfect. All right, let's get back. To, let's go to time travel. Is it possible to go back in time? The answer to that is no. You will not be able to go back in time. Here's a few reasons why. Going backwards in times would be like trying to make your rate of growth negative. It would make everything around you grow negatively. So you would have to reverse the growth of everything. So whatever you do, spin around, whatever you can do, isn't going to make everything in the universe re go back in time. It's going to re, uh, you know, ungrow, you know, uh, reverse the growth of everything. P things, people like Abe Lincoln was dead and stuff, come back to life and unburn things. And I mean, it would be it's impossible because um, you just can't do something that will make the growth of everything reverse. That's what time is. Time doesn't really exist, actually. It's just a figure number that we use to represent where we are in the world around us. It's kind of more like a marker than it really is a thing. Because time, there's no number that's floating around somewhere in the universe keeping track of it, just keeping track of how long we've been here. So it's not like we can mess with that number somehow and make everything undo itself. Um, I mean, if you somehow reverse time here, would it balance out in the universe and stuff? And time doesn't really exist. It's really just a figure. So, that being said, um, to go back in time is not possible. There's Even if it, there was a device, there's no device, electrical charge, or anything that can, again, reverse everything. So, that's the sorry fact. What about going into the future? Is it possible in the future? The answer to that is yes. It is possible to do, I guess, metaphorically go into the future. Now, whoa, 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 Dylan, you just said that we can't go back in time. How are you gonna make yourself go into head in time? All right, I'll explain that. Time itself is like a like a rate that you are growing at. That every everyone on Earth right now, even you watching this video and me probably sitting in my room right now because you're watching this we're all growing we're all advancing aging at the same rate let's say it's eight so here at a line graph pretend this is like a line graph we're all experiencing up up here so you've there's things in space like satellites and stuff that need to tweak their clocks ahead some because they are they are advancing through time, and sort of. Basically, they're traveling at a high rate, such a high rate of speed, that time isn't keeping up with them, so that what they are doing is they're taking their rate of, you know, being in link with everyone else, their time, and they're slowing it down. Almost like if you were to freeze your own time, and, everyone's, if, and everyone kept going, and 10 years later, you unfroze yourself, well, you would be, you know, you unfroze your time, you'd let it back to normal, everything around you grew. So basically, you can't modify the universe's time to go back in time, but you can make yours slow down so that everything around you grows and enhances and ages, but you won't. But you, you can't freeze your time. You'll never be able to hit zero. You'll, you'll be able to maybe get point zero one or something, but you're never going to freeze your time. If you were to travel um, around the Earth at light speed for about um, ten minutes, you would experience your time <clears throat> would be so close to the end, uh, so close to the um, zero mark that after you experience 10 minutes on your watch and you stopped and you went back to earth 
back into the 8 level that we talked about everyone's going at, you would have advanced in time 8 times faster than normal for 10 minutes. So you take the time that we're going at, times that by 8, and take that massive, chaotic, slow, you know, speed, and then stop it after 10 minutes. So everything around you, you come back to Earth, and you look at your watch and compare it to the, a clock on the wall or something, and it would be severely behind, maybe in a few days behind. Um, now, of course, no human can travel at light speed so far, as of 2012, but, well, we can get pretty close, um, well, not to light speed, but to advancing in time. Astronauts themselves today have um, experienced slowing their time down. Um, I can't remember what astronaut it was. I was watching a program on NASA, and um, they, they math, you know, they did all the calculations, and they have figured out he has went seven seconds into the future. Now, it's not very big. You know, he was just doing his work into space, but can you imagine if we can get some sort of device that will let us travel um, around, you know, Earth or in space that will make our time slow down? So, yes, yes, we can go in the future. But let's say we go 50 years ahead in the future, like I did, I wouldn't be able to go back. So, everyone would have died around me, everything would have happened, another earthquake that destroyed Earth another meteor and I wouldn't be able to reverse it so there you go time is possible to go ahead in what does this mean now does this mean that um, how would we perceive it how would you how would you see the would you see the person go around for 10 minutes or would you see them go around for days now that's the kind of thing where our human mind has a hard time processing. If if I said to you that he went around 10 minutes, but if we looked at it, we saw him go around, it would take him 10 days to go around. You'd be like, how does that work? And that is where we go back to theories. We don't have a scientific fact for that. Um, you know, Einstein says time's like a river, and some old guy said it was like an arrow. You know, I can't remember the name of the guy. It might be Isaac Newton, but I don't know. Um, so, that I don't have an answer for, but what I can tell you from my perceive, or whatever word, that, um, you would see the guy go around for 10 days, and he would see himself going around for 10 minutes, because he's traveling by you so fast, over and over and over and over and over and over, and, um, that's uh, that's how it would work. Um, if you weren't traveling at the same speed of him, you wouldn't see him going that fast. Now, if you were traveling slightly slower than him, then it would seem like he went 10 minutes, maybe maybe even like you know 20 minutes. But to him, it's like 10 minutes. So, anyways, 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 not to bore you, but yes, your dreams are true, and time travel ahead of time is possible, but not reversal. So. You know, there you go. So, you know, give me topics, send stuff, message me with more topics or things you want to talk about, or have me explain, um, or just anything. Maybe I'll just talk to you, because I just want to talk to you. Yeah. All right, so, um, yeah, see you guys later. Subscribe.